just a little sample. I wanted to give you that jam as a sample of what I'm going to explain in a minute. Integrating pattern recognition into your playing, into your actual improvisation. Working patterns that are not really necessarily scales, but they're patterns that are consistent that you learn and bring them into your improvisation. Before I do that, I want to tell you quickly about four events coming up in the months of Mar February and March. Sunday, February 4th is another Adam Gusso and Ronnie Shellist event happening. It's been a long time. This will be our sixth event. So if you want to join a Gusso Shellist harmonica workshop, all blues harmonica focused in Morgan Hill, California, which is near San Jose, check out the link in the video description. Um, we're going to be focusing on some great topics. I don't want to botch and describe the topics right here in this video. If you'll go to the webpage and check them out, I can talk about my topic briefly, but I don't want to describe what Adam's going to be doing. Have a look at the website. Um, my topic that, that day is going to focus around integrating your rhythm and chordal playing with single notes and phrasing and how do you really get that moving and working together. So that means playing things like... That's one simple example. We're going to go through a handful of examples and show you how you can get a strategy going for putting that together in your playing when you improvise. So that's Sunday, February 4th. If you want to make this event happen, it's up to you. There are all these out-of-town events are contingent upon early registration so we can take care of our travel needs, not only for us, but any attendee that's flying in from out of town. So February 4th, now's the month to sign up. If you want to see this event happen, please help us out and get that registration uh, rolling. Saturday, February 17th, I'm going to work on heading back to Glendale, Arizona for a very small 10 or under person workshop. And this is going to be a really great opportunity because it's so small for us to really dig into some fun topics. Check out the link to learn more about that. Again, that's Saturday, February 17th. Sunday, March 11th, Adam and I are going to take the same workshop we did in Morgan Hill, California and head to Hartford, Connecticut and offer those topics uh, and similar event, minus the show at the end of the day, but the workshop itself uh, during the day, March 11th, that is a Sunday. And finally, the next Global Blues Harmonica Summit is coming up Saturday, March 31st, and I'm extremely, extremely excited about this event. Why? Because I'm bringing in uh, one of my dearest friends, Mr. Jerry Hunt. Jerry's gonna be flying out to Denver, Colorado, and joining me right here to put on uh, a phenomenal webinar. This is an online event. Um, you log in, you have a chat box for your own questions, and the event's recorded. We give you handouts at the end of the day. You can't really lose. And what will the topic be? Well, it's going to be awesome because Jerry and I have actually worked out this topic in the past with dance communities. Harmonica players, pay attention. This is going to be something that will benefit you tremendously. I guarantee you that you'll walk away with uh, more value than you expected. Jerry and I are going to break down near a dozen um, classic blues grooves, talk about signature songs that you can associate with those grooves. So you'll have song examples of what we're talking about. We're going to lay them out on the guitar. He'll be here live playing those for you. And... Importantly, we'll talk about how you can interact as a harmonica player with these songs. What is your role? When you work with these songs, not only how do you interact as a, as a person that's going to create uh, the fills and how would you approach the fills to the song, how would you color behind this song, how would you groove to this song and maybe work out some bass lines and improvisation approaches. I'm going to talk about how to interact with these songs how to identify these grooves, how to call them maybe, if you want to start to learn these grooves and learn songs that are associated with them. These are the type of things I want to get into. You'll walk away at the end of the day um, being able to download audio recordings of Jerry laying out these grooves for you so you can practice along to them, essentially backing tracks. And then another set of tracks where I'm laying down some examples of practice things that you can do with these exact grooves. You can't lose. I would. I hope all of you will check out or consider looking into this event. 
tickets go on sale at the top of the year 2018 so I'll put a link to that as well um, the little jam I started with came from the Jimmy Lee groove track series it was just a quick thing in G and I have C harmonica playing second position I was demonstrating some of this pattern recognition and I'm going to teach it to you right now before we go um, this is one of a series of patterns that I've kind of come up with over the years that have really helped me out. So I'm going to give you one pattern today and then I'm going to work on releasing a new instructional download where you can learn a series of these patterns from me so you can begin to integrate them into your playing. Today's pattern is kind of an intermediate. So if you're a beginner and you're still working on bends, this might be challenging. Perhaps it's a good thing to shoot for. I'm just simply going one through six draw playing the draw note, the half step bend available, and then back to the draw note. That means when you get to holes two and three, you're gonna to have to really focus because there's multiple bends happening and you wanna select just the first bend, the half step. It sounds like this. Five draw doesn't have a half step bend, but I encourage you to go ahead and draw, bend, draw. Just bend down to the lowest bend. Um, and then work your way back down. And you're gonna try to avoid these notes on two and three. That's too low, and on three, if you hear these kind of notes falling that far down, you've gotten into the full, or maybe even the step and a half bend that's all the way down. So isolating just half steps is extremely useful um, to you as a harmonica player if you're thinking about your improvisation because it helps you move around more chromatically. So just to leave you with a little demo of how I would be letting you hear how I'm integrating it now that you know that the draw, bend, draw is the exercise, I'll leave you with this little jam and just see if you can identify, use this as a, a way to see if you can hear me playing some of those draw, bend, draws into my riffs. And uh, if you like this, look out for that lesson coming by the end of the year. So I'll use the same track. Here we go. that helps some of you out there and you can hear how I'm fitting those in. That's what I got for today. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys hopefully at some of these events out there. Thanks for tuning in.